Take a trick, trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's Big Trick Trivia Time. And we'll feel it all right. Okay, come on, let's play! Welcome, hi, hello, happy Monday, everybody. My name is Holly with Megatrix Entertainment. We're going to be playing some general knowledge trivia here in just a minute. If this is your first time playing before you go any further, before we go any further, make sure that you join our online game. So here on YouTube where you're listening to me now, you'll hear and you'll see the questions. But in order to actually participate, you need to join the online game. It's very simple. Just open up any internet browser, go to the website online.bangatrix.com and enter in the code TRICKS, T-R-I-C-K-S. You can see it circling or rotating here down at the bottom of your screen. Nothing to download, nothing to sign up for. Just enter in that code and then it's going to ask you for two pieces of information. What name you want to go by tonight. That could be your name or a team name or a nickname, whatever you want. Uh, and then the state that you're playing from if you are here in the United States. If not, feel free to let us know where you're at. It's just for fun. Uh, but once you put in those two pieces of information and click on go, you'll see this screen that says the game will begin shortly. And that means you're all set. There's nothing else you need to do. The game's going to start in just a couple minutes. I'm going to give people time to join. And we'll go over what we have coming up this week and how we play this game before we start. So, once again, welcome. I am Ollie with Bigatrix Entertainment. Thank you for joining uh, me and us. Taco is here. Gina's behind the keyboard, typing away. I hear her probably talking to you guys in the chat. Yeah. Katniss is here too. Uh, so it is a fun Monday night. Thank you for being here. We have a bunch of uh, great events coming up this week. Tonight, uh, I know a few of you at least were there with Henry doing his hair metal or glam rock music bingo at 7 o'clock. Thanks for coming out for that. We're about to do general knowledge trivia. We'll be back on Wednesday. Bobby K will be doing Pink Floyd music bingo. A lot of requests for that one. And then I'll be back at 9 o'clock with more general knowledge trivia. We will have more events on Thursday. 7 o'clock is actually Marvel and DC uh, trivia. So comics, movies, all sorts of Marvel and DC stuff. And that is hosted by the incredible Phoebe. So if you haven't played a game online with Phoebe, you're in for a treat. If you have in the past uh, played an event with Phoebe, I know you'll be back because she's fantastic. It'll be a lot of fun. It's sponsored by the Mount, Pros uh, the Mount Prospect Library. So don't miss that. That is free to play. There's no cost to play that one. Uh, you just need to make sure that you click on the Facebook event because the links are right there. We won't be posting all of that. It's handled by the Mount Prospect Library. So don't miss that Thursday. And then I'll be back Thursday night at nine with more general knowledge trivia. Last but not least, Friday, Fundraiser Friday is back with a vengeance. We are so happy to be supporting for the second time online the DuPage Pads organization, helping individuals find places that uh, seriously need places. So please come out, support, uh, help us support DuPage Pads. All of the information for all of those events, including the Friday fundraiser are on our Facebook page. You can find the events linked in the post that I put on our main page today. And there are events created on Facebook for pretty much all of those events as well. So that's everything we're doing online, but we also have events in person up and running for those of you that feel comfortable and you want to go out, check out one of our in-person events. They're all being held uh, a a as safely as possible at venues that we know and we trust. We're at Pollyanna in St. Charles every single Tuesday and at Two Pints in, in the Bolingbrook Promenade every Tuesday. Both of those are at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. We go back and forth between Pollyanna Brewing in Lamont and Pollyanna Brewing in Roselle. This week we're in Roselle. Next week is Lamont. Uh, and then on Thursday, you can play Music Bingo at Two Pints Lounge, again, in the Bolingbrook Prom Promenade, or this Thursday, you can do Seinfeld Trivia at Elmhurst Brewing Company. So lots of great events coming up. Thank you so much to those of you that have already been going. Katniss, just get you. Ay, sharp nails. Sorry. Uh, so a lot of fun events coming up this week, but nothing more fun than a special oh. birthday. Tomorrow, Addison's birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks for supporting Bega Tricks. Taco will be sure to give you a special birthday shout out. Uh, thank you, Addison. Happy, what is she now, 30? 
35, 36? <laughs> I think somewhere around there, right? Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, she says thank you. Uh, you're welcome. All right, we are going to get in. She's 11. We are going to get 11. Happy 11. Uh, we are going to get into this game, so I'm going to pop up here. Uh, so one more time, last chance. I mean, you can join any time, but last reminder, you do need to join the online game, online.megatricks.com, enter in the code TRICKS. You can see it rotating down here. I will say, if you were with us for our Zoom trivia on Friday, uh, I very briefly announced we do have some new prizes in the works. So uh, tonight, we don't have a prize up for grabs other than boasting and bragging rights. Um, but people take this pretty seriously, so make sure you have your thinking caps on. And over the next few days and weeks here, we're going to announce a new prize uh, structure and some way that you can win some great stuff through Bag of Tricks uh, by playing trivia and music bingo, too. So with all of that said, this game tonight uh, is 30 questions. Some of them are multiple choice, which is what we'll start with, and then we'll move into questions where you have to supply the answer all on your own. The multiple choice questions are a little bit uh, easier because you have four options to choose from and you know that one of them is correct. So there's, even if you have no idea what the answer is, you have a one in four shot. As soon as I start your timer, the answer will sh the, the four answers will show up on your screen. All you have to do is select the one you believe is correct. It's always A, B, C, and D. One of them is right. If you click the right answer, you earn up to 150 points based on how quickly you answer. The, the longer it takes you to answer, the less points you'll earn. It's that simple. If you're wrong, you get zero points, but you don't lose any, so at least take a shot. Again, you have a one in four shot of clicking the right answer, even if you have no idea. Uh, the only thing you need to be careful of is you can't change your answer once you've clicked an answer. So if you click on A and then you say, shoot, I meant to click B, you're in for A. You can't change it, so make sure you take enough time to look at the answers thoroughly, but don't take so much time that you don't earn points. Uh, so before we get started. Let me give some shout outs. Hey, Maggie, Chris, John, Misha. Welcome back, everybody. Nice to see you guys. Hey, Lindsay. Kim Wheatley. Welcome. Hey, Crystal Lenz. Jennifer Sterna. Christy Ann. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Mert Whirlin. Jess. Becky. I recognize every single person in this chat. How I fantastic. Know, how this is great. Yeah, the gang's all here. <laughs> nice, Jen. Hey, Steph Curtis. Just made it. All right, everybody, we are going to get this game started. The first question is a practice question. So if you've never played before, this is your chance to get familiar with the system because there are no points on the line. No worries. If you're wrong or you don't get it, you will after this question. Cheers. Thanks for being here. Let's get it started. Why is that in the way of the picture? Oh, so this is something that they didn't. So uh, the, the, the platform, sorry to sidebar, the platform that we use for trivia just did a major update today. Uh, and you can see here that this is going over the picture. That's why I just kind of stopped here. I'm going to take a screenshot of that so I can show them later. But anyway, everything else works the same. Here we go. First question, what is the name of your host today? It's a multiple choice option. Uh, one of these <laughs> answers is correct, but don't worry too much if you don't know. This one's just for fun. You have 25 seconds to answer starting now. What is my name? Is it Winston, Ali, Ray, or Egon? Two of you thought that I begrudgingly joined the group because I needed a job, and two of you thought that I'm a brainiac, so thank you. But 26 of you correctly said, Ali is my name. Great job. Off to a fantastic start. That one wasn't worth any points, but if it was, you would have earned points based on how quickly you answered if you said B. So here we go. Now they start counting for points. Some of these questions are easy. Some of them are tough. Every multiple choice question is a maximum of 150 points. Uh, the one thing I haven't said is that the pictures that you see, the gifts here, they're just there for fun. So uh, obviously this one was from the Ghostbusters, but it wasn't meant to be a clue. And, and going through tonight, don't let the pictures lead you astray. They're just there for entertainment. Even if they are related, uh, they're not meant to be a hint or a tip. Here we go. Number two. Donnie, Mark, and Paul Wahlberg own a chain of restaurants that primarily serve what type of food? Is it vegan food? 
pizza, barbecue, or hamburgers? Yeah, near us. I mean, like near them, right? Yeah. We, who, it's Donnie and Jenny that live in St. Charles. Donnie was your favorite new kid? Ooh. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Paul is the chef. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, everybody's in. One person thought vegan. Looking at you, Jen Sterna. One person thought barbecue and 30 people correctly said hamburgers. That's a social. Cheers, everybody. Great job. It was the Mall of America. Yeah. Yeah, and it was the line was around the mall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number three, what comedy show made its debut on CBS in 1976, featuring Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem as the house band? Is that Saturday Night Live, The Muppet Show, mm -hmm. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, or the Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour? I discovered this gift today. You're going to see it multiple times. I enjoy it. He looks very pleased with himself. Who's a good boy now? Yeah. Keeping the beat. Working for tree. <laughs> he looks so cute. Oh. Paco didn't even perk up when I said the T word. He must be tired. I am Trevor looking for Trevor. <laughs> okay. Two people said SNL. One person said Rowan and Martin's laugh in. Six people said the Sunny and Cher comedy hour. But the correct answer was. The Muppet Show, Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem, The Muppet Show. All right, number four. Who does number four work for? Which baseball player is the subject of the film The Pride of the Yankees? Which famous baseball player's film uh, is the subject of the film The Pride of the Yankees? Is it Lou Gehrig, Mickey Mantle, Joe DiMaggio, or Babe Ruth? Million dollar trooper. How oh, is that dude look like Gary Cooper? Pride of the Yankees. Uh, this individual was portrayed by Gary Cooper. Uh, 1944 film, I believe. 42, 44. Uh, the correct answer, most of you, not most of you, but a majority of you got this. 13 people correctly said Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig. Pride of the Yankees. Gary Cooper uh, portrayed him on, in film. Good job. All of these obviously famous baseball players. So, you know, don't feel bad. Number five. Sorry, Jess and John. Uh, the first issue of Action Comics helped kick off the superhero genre with the first appearance of whom? Was it Superman, Spider Man, Batman, or The Flash? <laughs> Thanks, Jess. John's birthday is Thursday, so no sports questions Aww. then. Love it. Yay. Me too. Get me a pizza. All right, everybody's in, and you guys did well. Obviously, once again, all famous uh, answers. Any of these would have been fine guesses, but the correct answer, Action Comics, way back in the 30s, I believe. Superman. Superman, 26, if you got it right. Great job. That's question five, which means we're going to look at the standings for the first time. If you're in first, second, or third, your score will be on top of the screen. Everybody else is going to rotate through, so take a look, see where you're at. In first, Captain Cheesecake. In second, May I See Your Manager. In third, Mert Werlin. Everybody else rotating through. Take a look, see where you're at. All right, it's gone through twice. You should have seen where you're at. I see Tacos Party people out there. Jen Widener, Burt Campford's got the map. Hey, 
Some uh, Bare Naked Ladies reference in there. I'm gonna guess, I'm just guessing that's Chris B. I could be wrong. I like to try and guess which team name Chris is. All right, here we go. Number six coming up. Let me take it off Taco. Number six, what is the name of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles rat teacher and adoptive father? What is the name of their mentor, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Is it Splinter, Professor Radigan, Templeton, or Rizzo? Hey, I guessed correctly. Love it. Wonder if she goes out with one of the Yankees. Hi. Thank you, Steph. Appreciate it. Uh, you guys destroyed this one. Great job. Correct answer is Splinter. That's a social. 91% of you, 29 people. Cheers, everybody. What? Oh, uh oh. Taco Cam almost fell over. I didn't even mention. Misha, thank you so much for the donation. Guys, these links are down there all night. If you feel so inclined, this game is free to play, but we do accept donations or tips Venmo, PayPal, Zell Quick Pay. We really appreciate it. We will be drawing a name. Somebody will get to choose all of the categories that we do for trivia on Thursday, um, and it'll be somebody that donated to us in the past. So um, if you donate this week, you could be the person that we choose for next week. I didn't say anything about it earlier, so I figured I'd mention it now. And Misha, thank you so much. I already saw that donation. Number seven, which hip-hop hype man co-founded the group Public Enemy in 1985 with Chuck D? Which of the following options is the hip-hop hype man? co-founded the group Public Enemy in 1985 with Chuck D. Was it Slick Rick, Doug E. Fresh, Flavor Flav, or Rob Bass? Ooh, great mouse detective. Yeah, that that animation in there, the scene in Big Ben. That, that, yeah. yeah. The chase with Radigan. That's on Disney+. Plus. I need to get back on Disney+. Plus. There's so much stuff on there. And all I do is I open Disney+, Plus. I watch Hamilton. <laughs> That's literally all you do. <laughs> no, I've watched the Jeff Goldblum thing. What else? The Imagineerings. We watched a couple old animated films. Everybody's in. This guy, they were talking about him on Music Bingo earlier. Uh, the correct answer here with his distinctive uh, fashion choices, Flavor Flav. This is, he wore the clock, right? The clock around his neck? Yeah. And the Flavor Flavia. Flavor Flav, the correct answer. Good job, 26 if you got it right. Uh, number eight. Which of the following options is the world's deepest lake? So not uh, the world's largest by area or surface area or volume, just the world's deepest lake. Which of these lakes has the deepest point of any lake in the world? Is it Lake Taganyika? In Africa, Crater Lake in the United States, Great Bear Lake in Canada, or Lake Bacall in Russia. Hey, thanks, Jess, for the donation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a tough question. Woo, lots of stuff. Oh, the Pixar shorts, we could watch those. Threaten me with a good time. Can't believe Lake Titicaca is not an option. Yep. Yeah, it took a lot for me to not put it. I would have just giggled for too long. I had to keep this rolling. Uh, four of you said Lake Tanganyika. Eight people said Crater Lake. Four people said Great Bear Lake. All of these are very deep lakes. They're all up there on the list. I think Crater Lake... Um, Crater, I mean, these are all the deepest lakes in their respective uh, continents, I believe, uh, or countries, I guess, because there's Crater and Bear Lake there. Um, but the correct answer overall, deepest in the world, is Lake Bokal in Russia at just over, very deep. I don't remember the number. Great job, everybody. Number nine, uh, who was the oldest sibling in the original Jackson 5? So the starting lineup, the original Jackson 5, who was the oldest of the five siblings? Was it Jackie, Marlon, Tito, or Jermaine? Who were you guys talking about? That was a babe in Naperville? <laughs> Rob Love. Remember that Brett Michaels 
Yeah. One of the girls in there is deaf. He is blonde and pink hair. Oh, and she worked in Naperville? Oh, oh I cool. didn't know that. Did you just see my comment? Oh, now I see. Oh, downtown Naperville. All right, everybody's in, and you were just all over the board here. Eight of you said Jackie. Six people said Marlon. Eight people said Tito. Eleven people said Jermaine, the oldest. So the original five was Jackie. Jackie, whose real name wasn't Jackie. Um, I looked this up earlier. Sigmund. Sigmund Esco Jackson. Uh, he's the oldest Jackson brother, but the second child of the Jackson family. Sigmund went by Jackie. All right, here we go. Great job, the eight of you got that. Number 10, one of the largest brands of any spirit in the world, Absolute Vodka, is produced in what country? This is one of my favorite gifts. Absolute Vodka produced in what country? Is it Russia, Iceland, Sweden, or France? Just me my answer. I know. Thank you, Crystal, for the donation. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. A lot of you would go by Jackie, but there's too many Jackies. I'd probably go with Siggy. Siggy. Yeah, or I'd go Sig, but then I'd convince people that it was a soft G, and they'd have to call me Sidge. It's Sidge. You would. My mom named it after Freud. Aw. Sigmund the cat. See, that's adorable. That is cute. Did you call him Jackie? All right, everybody's in. Correct answer here. Oh, God, I remember drinking a lot of Absolute Vodka. Sweden. Sweden. 22 of you got that right. Good job. Russia, another good guess. They enjoy their vodka. But Sweden, the correct answer. We have one more general knowledge. <laughs> one more general knowledge question. Uh, one more multiple choice question. They're all general knowledge. Number 11. Looking for another baseball answer. The Atlanta Braves. And which other Major League Baseball team have retired jersey number 44 in honor of Hank Aaron? Atlanta Braves and which other team have retired jersey number 44 in honor of Hank Aaron? Is it the Texas Rangers, the LA Dodgers, the New York Yankees, or the Milwaukee Brewers? Just kitty. <laughs> you just called him kitty. All right, everybody's in. I see a lot of you calling people out uh, because of where they live. I imagine it's not the LA Dodgers. Good guess, it is the Milwaukee Brewers. The Milwaukee Brewers. Those of you who knew it were calling out other people who live in Milwaukee or near Milwaukee. So good job, good job, good job. Everybody, that is it for multiple choice questions. We are gonna look at the standings here. Uh, after all of the multiple choice questions, we still have plenty of trivia left to play, but let's see where you're at. Uh, Bert Campfort's got the main hits in first. Mert Werlin in second. A hole numero uno. What's up? Canada in third place right now. Everybody else rotating through. Take a look. See where you're at. Tacos up and alert because Gina walked out of the room. I'll let it go through one more time and then I'll tell you how this next round's going to work. Oh, she's coming back. Don't worry. All right, next round. These questions are no longer multiple choice. Now, once I start the timer, which is still a 25 second timer, you're going to have to type your answer in. Rather than seeing four options pop up on the screen, you're gonna see a text box open up and you have to type in your answer. That's the only real difference. Uh, time is still the same. The other major difference though is that you're no longer losing points based on how long it takes you to answer. So take your time. Oh, let me get a taco some privacy. Take your time uh, as long as you need, as long as you get your answer in before the timer runs out, which is still 25 seconds, you will get all of the points if you're right. You're not losing points, so don't just type as quickly as you can and misspell everything. Take your time, try to spell it right. Uh, as long as you have the right answer, you're gonna get points here. Uh, the next five questions come from the same category. It's a mini bonus round, which means they're all 
from the same category. Tonight, we're talking about music. Specifically, I'm going to give you the name of a famous album. You just tell me the band or the musician that released it. It's that simple. I'm going to give you the name of an album. You tell me the band or the musician solo that released it. For example, if I said uh, who released the album Slippery When Wet, it would be Bob Jovi. It's that simple. Bob Jovi? <laughs> All right. Uh, Bob Jovi is not an answer tonight. And it's never going to be read again. Or I'll do red and make it. Who was the other band that did red? Not Taylor Swift. Oh. Um, Somebody will tell me. Oh, was it? O not OAR. Um, King, King Crimson. Crimson. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that one, and I'll only accept King Crimson. All right, here we go. First answer. First question. You give me the answer. Name the band or the musician who released the album. There's that gift again. Physical Graffiti. Which band or musician released Physical Graffiti? Misha, that is so cool. Um, Your given name is M Mershala. Mersala. Is it a Dario Argento film? A Dario Argento film? Is that what you're looking up? Or you just know? I'm just wondering. Oh. That's Asia Argento's dad. And oh. He was a filmmaker and did like horror movies and was Italian. Mercala. Ooh. That's a pretty name. That is a pretty name. Wow. Thank you for letting us know that. What was a fun night, Lindsay? Bob Jovi? <laughs> King Crimson? <laughs> Uh, everybody's in. This is what it looks like when your answers come in. Some of you obviously got the right answer. You just spelled it a little wrong. That's perfectly fine. I just have to mark them right for you. What would philosophical graffiti be? That's what happens in my head every day. Uh, the correct answer is Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, named after that famous airship. All right, number 13. Name the musician or the band that gave us the album Nevermind. Oh my god, this is my favorite gift. Remember when oh, I did the, the yeah, the music, the cantina? <laughs> and it lined up so perfectly. <laughs> but to be honest, I forgot this gift existed, so thank you for using it again. <laughs> I'm going to repost that sometime soon. Why not? <laughs> oh, I miss it. All right, everybody's in. You did well here. It was Nirvana. Nirvana. Incredible album. All right. Number three in this round. Number 14 overall. Name the band or musician that released the album Ready to Die. Ready to Die. All right, everybody's in. Answer's still flowing in. Let's see. Oh, lady. It's just somebody's. Hey, it's just the neighbor. They just always honk their horn for absolutely no reason. Correct answer is Notorious B.I.G. If you put Biggie um, or if you spelled Notorious wrong, you still got points here. Um, artists that start with E for 200. Uh, Notorious B.I.G. the correct answer. Number 15. Name the uh, band or musician that released the album Midnight Memories. Midnight Memories. These are tough. Jess says, yeah, I, yeah, some of them really are. <laughs> Somebody's very happy about this one. Uh, I'll put this up. It's not Fallout Boy, Tom Jones, Bob Seeger, The Kremlins, uh, Police, Slipknot, Barbara Streisand, Goo Goo Dolls, Rod Stewart, Fleetwood Mac, Paul McCartney, Genesis. This is the one that I saw. One Direction, thank you. Somebody was very happy. Well, uh, it was, in fact, One Direction. Good job. Just about half of you got that right. Congratulations. We have one more of these. Let's see if you know this one. 
Name the band or musician that released the album The Emancipation of Mimi. Oh, I remember when this came out. Maybe everyone here knows this. This is a band you'd go see. Jennifer Stern, a huge fan of One Direction, I see. I'm ignoring your next comment. It's One Direction, yep. <laughs> I'm getting meowy. Me too. Aww. Oh. That's adorable. That's really cute. Uh, the correct answer here, it is not Eminem, not Beyonce, I don't know, somebody said, not Linkin Park. It is Mariah Carey. 70% of you got that right. Cheers, everybody. That is it for this round. So let's take a look at the standings. A whole numero uno up in the first. What up, Canada? Second place is Emily. Bert Kempford's got the mad hits in third place. Uh, Christiane said she had this question when she went to pub trivia a long time ago. There is a little bug in here. I just really want to. Oh, got it. <laughs> oh, it won't last. Look at this. <laughs> I know. That's, that's rivalry. All right. Let's take a look at Taco. Oh, now he's sleeping like a boy. All right, the next round is once again five uh, from one category, another mini bonus round, but this is a picture round. And actually, tonight it's a gift round. Um, so it's still a picture round, but they're gifts instead of pictures. But tonight, what we're going to do, we did this round a very long time ago, and all the questions were different, so don't you worry. Uh, this is Name, the Netflix original TV show. I'm going to show you a scene, a picture, a GIF, uh, I think I did guess for all of these from an original Netflix show. You just have to name the show. That's it. That simple. Some of these are easy. I think most of them are easy. If, if you have Netflix, you've heard of them. Uh, it's just a matter of identifying it. It's random scenes from these shows. Some of them easy, some of them tough. But I think you guys will do well. These are 250 points a piece. Here we go. Name this Netflix original show. What show is this from? Give them to me. Give them to me. Yes, John. Lindsay, different order on your phone. That's weird. I'm not sure why it does that. Jess, nobody knows what's going on in this. I Lindsay, I would refresh. It sounds like you might have a bad connection right now. If the if the scores were off and nothing's showing up. Because I have it here on the on the live screen. So this one's kind of tough uh, if you've never seen the show, but I put it first because this has been everywhere in social media. The second season just dropped last Friday. The correct answer here, that is not Chris Kattan. Uh, it's not what we do in the shadows. I think they're an Amazon Prime show. Uh, the correct answer here is The Umbrella Academy. Umbrella Academy, The Umbrella Academy, either way counts. Umbrella Academy. It's good. I know, yeah, this was kind of a tough one. The other ones, uh, I'll be honest, the other gifts I were finding were just spoilers for the second season, and I didn't want to show you any of those, so I went with this one. Uh, so good job. Just about half of you got that. Number 18, name this Netflix original TV show. This one a little bit easier, I think. Name the Netflix original TV show. Oh, Lindsay, yeah, they switched where the picture shows up. So that they did a major upgrade. That's what. That's why this, the, the. if you're looking at the, the YouTube stream on my screen, the words are covering the picture. You can see here that the words are over his face, but on your phone, they did it so that the picture should be above the entire question now. So it doesn't interrupt the flow of the question and your text box or the multiple choice answers. 
Uh, Jess, the pictures probably did get smaller. Yeah, they, I think they fit him into a special frame. Lindsay, I didn't know that. That's good feedback. I'll let them know. Makes it hard to see on your phone. Yeah, they'll want to know that because the whole reason they moved the picture to the top is so that people would do more picture rounds. Mm -hmm. So if people can't see the pictures, that's not going to work. Uh, everybody's in here. You guys did well here. It's not Hannibal, I could see, though. Very striking man is the star of Hannibal. Very striking man is the star of this show. Uh, this is Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. I think this one's in the season six, five, six. Uh, there's five seasons out. That's a good one. If, if you like period pieces, this is a lot of fun. The guy's name, who I can never remember. But it's such a cool name. Cillian uh, Murphy. You, have to watch it with the closed you do have to watch it with the closed captions unless you are straight out of 1800s Britain. Uh, all right. Number 19. Name this Netflix original TV show. Okay, so the pictures are small for everybody. That's really good to know. I apologize, guys. I didn't know. This is the first time we've done They just upgraded this yesterday. So I will give them feedback. This one is bigger. Okay, so it's just they're not all the same. Hmm. Yeah, because on my end, they all look the same size. It's crazy. Hashtag Team Alex. Piper sucks. Crystal, I'm with you. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Piper sucks. Uh, yeah, Alex was bad in the beginning. I didn't like her, obviously. Uh, I mean, because she was the whole reason that she was there. But then you kind of realize she wasn't. Piper made her decisions. She's not great. But we're not caught up. We didn't finish the newest season, right? We have not finished it. Uh, the correct answer. Somebody said, I need to watch season. Netflix. Um, oh, Orange is the New Black. Cheers, everybody. That's essential. Two more. Number 20. What is the name of this Netflix original TV show? What is the name of this Netflix original show? Piper is the worst. Oh, I, never I never watched this one, you but I like it. I know, and especially because I love what's her name, Allison Brie. Yeah. Is this good? This funny. Ruby Rose is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, she wasn't on there for long. Orange is the new black. Ruby Rose just... She's striking. She was Catwoman, and now yeah, she's not anymore. she's, like, not human, like, how captivating she is. Ooh, somebody was very unsure of themselves, but they got it right. The Women of Wrestling show, Glow, maybe? Yes, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Mm -hmm. Correct answer is Glow. Good job, everybody. 79% of you will call that a social. Cheers. <laughs> Karen popped on here just to say Glow rules. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, Karen. All right. One more. Number 21. Name this Netflix original TV show. Oh. What Netflix original show is this? I don't know this one. This is tough. This is a main character, but not like a build main character. Is it depressing? The show, you've never watched it. Huh. Yeah. I've watched it. Uh, not all of it, though. You don't know my life. I do know your life. I know you haven't watched this show. I don't know the show you watch, though. Uh, All right, everybody's in. This is that Jason Bateman sleeper hit. Well, oh. not really a sleeper hit. It won multiple awards. Uh, the correct answer is Ozark. Not Gremlins 2, the new batch. Uh, Ozark. 13 Things, a couple of you said. I never watched that. Stranger Things, I've seen Shit's Creek. Uh, all right, that's it for this round. Let's take a look at the standings. Jen Widener up into first. Emily in second. Burt Kempfert's got the mad hits in third. Jen Sterna in fourth. Everybody else rotating through. Take a look, see where you're at. Paco's taking a siesta. Let's go back forward. Not that far, buddy. There you go, buddy. Oh, oh. Oh. 
All right, we'll let it go through one more time. So the final round of questions, there's 10 questions left. These are all random general knowledge questions. They are not multiple choice though. You have to type the answer in all on your own, but they're also not a bonus round. They're not related in any sense. Uh, they are just 10 random questions. There were 300 points a piece. So this is anybody's game still here. Uh, it's a very close game tonight, less than 100 points, 120 points between first and third, only about 38 points between first and second. So don't lose hope. Even if you're not towards the top, you can do very well here, but keep it fair. No cheating, no Googling, no searching for answers. Make sure these answers come out of somebody's brain. Here we go. Number 22. Medial tibial stress syndrome is the less common but scientific name for what painful condition? By what more common name would you know medial tibial stress syndrome? A very painful condition. This one? Uh -huh. <laughs> we said Gina playing head, shoulders, and knees, and toes over here. <laughs> hmm? 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 Uh, I play that every day, dude. Uh, this is not carpal tunnel, Charlie horse, tennis elbow, stress fracture, arthritis, sprained ankle, hiccups. That is spontaneous diaphragmatic flutter. Learn that one. Uh, the correct answer is shin splints, shin splints, medial tibial stress syndrome, your tibia, uh, yeah, commonly known as your, your shin bone, uh, it's a shin splint. Good job. Just about half of you got that. Number 23. Uh, what future megastar's first movie role was a character named Glenn? one of the victims in the original Nightmare on Elm Street, looking for the first and last name, ideally, of the future uh, celebrity megastar, whose first movie role was as a character named Glenn in the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Yay, nursing degree, good job, Stone. <laughs> I knew hiccups weren't in the leg, but now we all got to learn that <laughs> answer too. Thanks, Lindsay. Yes, spontaneous diaphragmatic flutter. All right, everybody's in. It is not Brad Pitt, not Will Ferrell. Hope I didn't lead you astray there. Not supposed to be a hint. Just him thinking. Uh, the correct answer, <laughs> somebody said Bert and Ernie. Uh, not George Clooney. He did come up on Roseanne, though. Uh, the correct answer here is Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, not a huge role, but led to some stuff for him there. Great job, 60. Led to some stuff. You know, he, he's done some stuff. <laughs> Just a few things. 68% of you got it right. Uh, number 24, if you ask for ahi at a sushi restaurant, what type of fish are you ordering? Oh, no. If you ask for ahi, A-H-I, at a sushi restaurant, what type of fish are you ordering? Yeah, I want sushi as well. You've had for a few days now. I have. But sure. It's because I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima. And not only is it said in Japan, the name of the island is Tsushima. It sounds like saying sushi. Tsushima. Sushi or sashimi. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's get this. Okay. I know, we need to get some sushi while I play Ghost, okay. of, Ghost okay. of Tsushima. Let's get it. All right, nobody missed this. Uh, the only people who didn't get points are those of you who didn't get answers in. Um, so you can see here it says 70%, but nobody else typed anything else. The correct answer was tuna. Good job. You guys know you're sushi or you're good at guessing. Uh, what do I think of the game? It is gorgeous, John. It's fantastic. I do get caught up. Gina could tell you how often she's sitting downstairs and I'm playing and I just go, Gina, Gina, look, look. And nothing's happening. It's just beautiful. Or you just go into the dungeon for eight hours. Yeah, I, I think I put 40 hours in last weekend and this weekend. Full-time job. Full-time job. All right, number 25. Uh, what novel, looking for the name of a book, what novel did Universal Studios pay author Michael Crichton $1.5 million for the movie rights before the book was even published? What is the name of the novel that Michael Crichton published? Universal Studios gave him $1.5 million for the movie rights before the book was even published. 
Ooh, melting pot. Yum. Yeah, my ears, but I love melting pot. I want to go to a Korean barbecue. Yeah, going yeah. Although we did win a gift card to Carnivore and the Queen in Downer yeah, Show. We've never been to. We've never been. Got to go check it out. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> nice, Jen. <laughs> it's banking on the book not sucking. Yeah, Michael Crichton was it was a pretty solid bet. He put out a bunch of hits. I like his gift, too. Thank you. Uh, everybody's in. I'll be strict on this just because. Uh, it was Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. The Lost World, I, I would say, is a great guess because you'd figure the second book in the series is the one they would pay before it even comes out. Uh, but no, Jurassic Park, you know, I'm sure they got advanced copies. The book wasn't even out, and they said, we're making a movie out of this. That's question 25. Let's take a look at the standings. Emily in first. Burt Camford's got the mad hits in second. Jennifer Sterna in third. Jennifer Widener in fourth. There's a Gen Takeover towards the top here. And there's Taco passed out. I get the park and world mixed up. Yeah, world is the newer one with the Chris Pratt. And the, uh, which redhead is it? It's not, it's not Bryce. Is it Bryce it is Dallas Bryce Howard? Dallas yeah. Howard yeah. Someone from our board of directors. Yeah, Lindsay, I'm with you. I struggle. Yeah, sometimes I'm looking at Instagram and I'm like, are we living in the same world? Yeah. People just living life yeah. as normal. Acting like nothing's happening. Karen, yeah, running in heels. They can always do it in the movies. All right, here we go. Five, uh, six questions left. Six questions left. Number 26. I'm looking for a first and last name here. And, you know, last name's fine, but first and last is great. What is the name of the person who voices the character of Homer Simpson on The Simpsons? Who voices the character of Homer on The Simpsons? Oh, it's still on mm -hmm. He's out. And one. <laughs> He's living his best life right now. On a furniture pad, a doggy pad on a desk. All right, all good guesses here. This is a hard one to spell. It is not Hank Azaria, although I love him, especially in the birdcage. Uh, the correct answer here is Dan Castellaneta. Dan Castellaneta. As long as your answer was close to that, you got points here. Oh, I see one on there I didn't mark. Hold on. There it is. You got points as long as you put it, no matter how you spelled it, as long as it was close. Oh, he's a great. Oh, he, I didn't know he was from Illinois either. All right, here we go. Number 27. In Greek mythology, according to Greek mythology, which hero killed the Minotaur? In Greek mythology, which hero killed the Minotaur? What was his name? I got a funny little answer here. All right, everybody's in. This was not one of Hercules' 12 deeds, 12 tasks. Uh, it was not Zeus. Percy Jackson. Two people put Percy Jackson with a winky face. Two people, Percy Jackson with a winky face. And honestly, there's no prize tonight, so I'm marking it right That's because so uh, technically, you know, weird. if you've read Rick Horton's, you know, Percy Jackson, is yes. Uh, but according to Greek mythology, official Greek mythology, as it was from back in the day, it was Theseus. Theseus. Okay. 
Lindsay and Becky both put good job. Uh, put the Percy Jackson. All right, number 28. Uh, prior to falling victim, unfortunately, to drug addiction in 2002, Lane Staley was the lead singer of what rock band from 1987 to 1998? What is the name of the band for which Lane Staley was the lead singer of from 1987 to 1998? Amy asked Bella, and she said, nope. Uh, Amy, has Bella read the Percy Jackson books at all? Super popular young adult books. I actually read a few of them. There's movies, and guess who they co-star? Alexandra Daddario. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the only reason I only read the books, because I first saw the movie, and then I read the book. Read the whole series to your girls. Nice, Lindsay. Are you true love? No, not at all. Uh, not the Clash, not the Doobie Brothers, not Metallica, not the Go Go's, not Rush. Uh, the correct answer is exactly half of you got Alice in Chains. How many of you thought it was Alice in Chains? Like a girl, Alice in, Alice in Chains. <laughs> Alice in Chains. Oh, Amy, if she's into Greek mythology, she should definitely, especially at her age, she should read the Percy Jackson series. It's it's really cool. It, it's a fun retelling of the whole the whole idea of just a different world of Greek mythology. It's fun. Number 29. This is a, a word, a mouth, uh, what am I looking for here? A mouthful? So stick yeah. with me. The five youngest solo winners of Album of the Year Grammy are all women. Taylor Swift, Alanis Morissette, Barbara Streisand, Lauren Hill, and Adele. The sixth youngest winner was 23 years, 293 days old, and also the first man on the list who was the youngest man ever to win the album of the year grammy thank you very much <laughs> amy that's awesome Harry Potter update. Seven chapters left in Goblet of Fire. Oh, no. Prepare his heart. Prepare his heart. Oh. Got the stuff to make butterbeer while you're at the store today. That's awesome. Ooh. I remember when I worked at Barnes & Noble in the cafe, and it must have been I a – we, yeah, we did a Harry Potter night or whatever, and we had to make up butterbeer in the cafe. That was fun. And I probably gave myself – 19 days of sickness with the amount of sugar in the butter beers. Mm -hmm. Probably. Uh, it was not Michael Jackson, not Ed Sheeran, uh, not the Beebs, not Drake. Uh, it was, in fact, three of you got this, Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. So this is a longer time ago than, maybe not longer than Barbara Streisand, but before Taylor, Alanis, Lauren Hill, or Adele, uh, Stevie Wonder, the sixth youngest winner and the youngest man to ever win that Grammy. All right, here we go. Number 30. What U.S. Secretary of State, I'm looking, just the last name's fine, in 1969 famously said, there can't be a crisis next week. My schedule is already full. What was the name oh. of the U.S. Secretary of State in 1969 who said there can't be a crisis next week? My schedule yeah. is already full. Oh, I feel you, Misha. Oh, that's <laughs> Lindsay, my life's motto. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, Christiane, let us know what Summer's reading. You guys should all share. There's a nice group of kids reading books here. All right, many of you got this. Around the Nixon administration, it was Kissinger. Henry Kissinger. Good job. 14 of you got it right. So one more question. Yeah. I, why not? That's I what agree, happens when you search not. for U.S. president gifts. <laughs> um, number 31, final question. Here we go. Uh, with a career spanning almost 60 years, what former TV host and actor 
holds the Guinness World Record for the most time spent in front of a television camera in the United States. So which individual who was on TV for almost 60 years holds the official Guinness World Record for having spent the most time in front of the camera on the air in the United States? Maggie's still in Catching Fire. That's a fun one. Is Catching Fire the second one? Yeah. Hunger Games 2. Yeah, and then Mockingjay is number three. Yeah, that's a good book. That's where they're on the reunion tour, the 50-year anniversary or whatever of the games. Yeah, people people got it because they were sad. Long life. Very long life. Very long. Very old. Uh, it doesn't make it any easier, but yeah. But I just don't when anyone dies in 2020. It's just not the environment you'd like to yeah. live your life in. Yeah. Uh, the correct answer here is, final answer, Regis filled in. Regis filled in. Guinness World Record. It'll take a long time before anybody beats that. Primetime, uh, hosting shows in, in, in the daytime, hosting talk shows in the morning, hosting game shows at night. Uh, this guy was just all over. He knew how to do it. Uh, so good job. Just about 60% of you got that right. That's it for questions. We're done. We're done. Um, ooh. Lore Olympus. I'll check that out. Love a graphic novel. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Chris, how's your toe doing? Um, <laughs> this gets to it. I just No, but look how freaking cute he is. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go over the final standing. So if you're in first place, congratulations. No prize tonight, but we do have some new prizes coming up soon. So keep, uh, keep an eye out. Stay tuned. There's some fun stuff coming up. Don't miss tomorrow. Uh, enjoy your day. We'll be back on Wednesday, uh, 7 o'clock for Music Bingo with Bobby K. 9 o'clock general knowledge with me. Thursday is Mount Prospect Library sponsored Marvel and DC trivia hosted by the incredible Phoebe. Don't miss that at 7 o'clock. 9 o'clock general knowledge with me. Friday we're raising money for DuPage pads with general knowledge trivia. That's the only event this week you'd have to pay to play. There's a ticket that you'd have to purchase. You can do that directly through to page pads. All the funds go directly to them. Yay, so check that you. out. Please join us for that. There will be some great prizes as always. Uh, and then we'll do some Zoom this weekend. But with all of that said, thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much for the donations. I saw those come through. We really appreciate it. Uh, let's do the final standings. And it's actually a drum roll tonight because you guys were up and down the whole time. Let's see who finished in first. Emily grabbed that lead, held on to it. Cameron Poe up into second. Team Cream in third. Burt Kempford's got some bad hits in fourth. Everybody else rotating through. So take a look. See where you're at. And join us again next time, Wednesday 7 and 9, Thursday 7 and 9, Friday at 8 p.m. Until then, guys, be safe. Take care of each other. Wash your hands and wear your mask. Bye-bye.